Hi, this is Dr. Ashrita. This is for the patients of Celeste Skin Clinic. Today I'm going to talk about vesiculobullous disorders. So vesiculobullous disorders is basically you see blisters on the skin. These are various disorders where you see blisters on the skin. A blister is basically a medical term for a bubble and uh, this is seen in few patients who are susceptible. So uh, there are two different conditions which are the main entities that we commonly see which is pemphigus vulgaris and bullous pemphigoid. In pemphigus vulgaris we see flaccid blisters meaning that the blisters are often very fragile and they rupture forming erosions. They are seen all over the body and there is significant morbidity associated with these erosions. The lesions often heal with hyperpigmentation and there is significant morbidity as well as mortality associated with this condition. There is also involvement of oral mucosa, genital mucosa, conjunctiva. There can be multiple erosions which can be seen in the lesions and even though this condition is quite severe, we need not worry about it because it's quite treatable. There are various medications that we can use to treat it. The most commonly we give corticosteroids after which we think about other immunosuppressants such as azathioprine, cyclosporin, mycophenolate mofetil, cyclophosphamide, IVIG and various biologicals. So even though the morbidity and mortality rate is quite high in pemphigus vulgaris, it is treatable. And uh, the next entity I'm going to talk about is bullous pemphigoid. This is a, another variant of vesiculobullous disorders. So in pemphigus vulgaris, we see flaccid blisters. In bullous pemphigoid, we see tense blisters. Tense meaning the blisters look tight or they look like uh, they don't rupture as easily as in pemphigus vulgaris. Bullous pemphigoid has a better prognosis compared to pemphigus vulgaris. And uh, the bullous pemphigoid can also involve the whole body. The trunk is a common site, limbs are common sites, but involvement of mucosa is rare. And bullous pemphigoid is seen more commonly in an elderly age group compared to pemphigus vulgaris, which is seen more in a middle age group. In bullous pemphigoid, the morbidity is high, but the mortality is quite less. And even though there are various treatment options which are available, bullous pemphigoid has a remitting or a relapsing course, and uh, but it is self-limiting. Even in bullous pemphigoid, we do treat with corticosteroids and other immunosuppressants. And when you have vesicular bullous disorders or any skin conditions with bubbles on the skin, it's better to visit your dermatologist to go through the necessary investigations in order to diagnose the condition properly and take the appropriate treatment. Thank you.